it seemed like the news spread faster than Tyreek Hill on a deep route. In an interview after the game, Patrick Mahomes called Travis Kelsey a privileged dude for dating Taylor Swift. Kelsey clenched his jaw as he looked at his phone in the locker room. As he threw his phone onto the couch, he said, privileged. The next day's practice was like a war zone. Kelsey ran routes with fire in his eyes, and each catch was a quiet answer. Mahomes saw the change and went up to him after drills. Kelsey, man, about what I said. Mahomes started in a sheepish way. Kelsey stopped him. Don't play this down, Pat. It's great to be dating Taylor, but it's not a free pass. He talked about how the media was always watching, how they felt like they had to be perfect, and how hard it was to balance their busy jobs. Look, Kelsey said with a sigh, it's not a pleasure, it's work. We put in a lot of work to make it work. Mahomes paid close attention. I understand. I mean, I see you two together, and it looks like. Easy? Kelsey was done with his sentence. It's anything but. There was a beat of silence between them. Now Kelsey had a slow smile on his face. He said, here's what we'll do, with a sly grin on his face. Ask Taylor for help writing songs the next time you see us. Perhaps she can make this a big hit. Mahomes laughed, which eased the stress. You think she'd do it? Kelsey winked and said, there's one way to find out. When Mahomes went up to Taylor at a charity gala the following week, he was feeling a bit nervous. Kelsey looked on with a face that showed a mix of amusement and curiosity. Hey, Taylor, Mahomes stuttered, big fan. Kelsey said you might be able to help an artist who isn't very good at what they do. Taylor laughed out loud, which surprised Kelsey. She said, in fact, Travis has been telling me all about your touchdown throws. We might be able to write a song that is both good and bad. A new song by Taylor Swift came out a few months later. With the catchy title, Touchdown Love Song, it was a funny song about handling love and fame. Both Kelsey and Mahomes made cameos in the music video. Kelsey caught a football in the air and winked at the camera. This comment by Mahomes, even though it was badly worded, had an unexpected result in the end. Not only as co-workers, but also as a couple dealing with the problems that only they could see. And who knows, it might have even led to a number one song. After practice, the changing room was full of noise, with groans and laughs bouncing off the metal walls. Patrick Mahomes, who is always making jokes, had just finished an interview in which he said that his best friend Travis Kelsey was privileged to be dating Taylor Swift. It was so good that the title, Mahomes Throws Shade, calls Kelsey lucky, in love, pretty much wrote itself. A lot of the time, Kelsey is the life of the party. He was sitting at his locker with his phone in his hand. He made a frown on his face. Not that he didn't like the attention, in fact, he thought it was funny when his friend teased him. Yes but privileged? That hurt. His phone rang. And it was Taylor. He read the message but already knew what she was going to say. She would tell him not to worry about it because Pat was just joking. Kelsey wasn't sure if he could, though. At that very moment, a familiar swagger filled the doorway. When Mahomes walked in, he had a sly grin on his face. It looked like he was going to say something else, but Kelsey cut him off. Okay, okay, Pat, Kelsey said in a voice that was surprisingly calm. Everyone heard it. Feeling lucky, huh? Mahomes' smile broke. Hey, man, I was just. Just what? Kelsey gave an odd look. Just downplaying how awesome I am for landing Taylor Swift? Mahomes had a sigh. Listen, Kelsey. You know I like to mess with you. However, meeting her is truly amazing. You're really lucky. Kelsey laughed. Good luck? Pat, it's not all flowers and candy. It's a lot with all the cameras and rumors going around all the time. Map sat down on the bench next to Kelsey. Yes, I can see that. But listen up, you two seem to get along. Okay, so at least you get to see great shows for free, right? Kelsey laughed. That's right. The best people in the business are right in front of you. Not able to complain about that. 
he stopped and looked with some thought on his face. Maybe, privileged, isn't the right word. But it's pretty darn unique. Mahomes gave a smile. Now that's the spirit. Plus, think about it this way. You now have all the Swifties as fans. Though Kelsey rolled his eyes, a real smile broke through. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that, Pat. He hit Mahomes on the arm as a joke. Just keep it down with the privileged comments, alright? No promises, Mahomes said with a smile. But hey, if anyone can handle a little extra attention, it's you, Mr. Taylor Swift's boyfriend. At least among their friends, the nickname stuck. Kelsey didn't mind, though. He knew Mahomes was right, dating Taylor was great, even though it was crazy at times. He didn't mind being teased by his best friend, getting front row seats to the best shows in the world was worth it. Travis Kelsey was hit hard by the news like a rogue defender. His best friend and teammate Patrick Mahomes had been talking on a sports show about how excited they were for training camp. But Mahomes got off track and said that Travis was privileged to be dating Taylor Swift instead of writing about plays. Travis slammed his phone down on the table, and the shock made his protein shake shake. Feeling lucky? Being with a big star was very exciting and not easy at all. It felt like they were living in a fishbowl because the reporters were always following them around and watching everything they did. He really loved Taylor, but it wasn't easy. In the afternoon, practice was tense. Travis dropped passes that he usually caught with one hand. Mahomes took him aside after drills because he could tell there was a change. Hey, man, you good? Mahomes asked with worry written all over his face. Travis was unsure. It wasn't like him to keep things inside, but this felt different. Look, what you said on that podcast. How is Taylor? Dude, I was just having fun. Mahomes defended himself, and a sheepish grin spread across his face. Travis said in a low voice, it wasn't funny, Pat. Going out with her is great, but things aren't always perfect. There's a lot of stress. Mahomes' smile went away. He hadn't thought about that part of things. Yes, I... I get it. That wasn't what I meant to say. Travis let out a sigh. Just, next time, keep the focus on the field, alright? Mahomes slapped him on the back and said, deal. But seriously, if you ever need someone to talk to about the whole Taylor Swift thing, you know I'm here. Travis thought the offer was nice. Maybe Mahomes didn't fully understand the difficulties, but his help was very important. Practice started up again, and Travis's every catch was more intense than before. His goal wasn't just to catch the football, but also to get the respect he earned as Travis Kelsey, the star tight end and Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Late that night, Travis told Taylor about what had happened during the day while they were curled up on the couch. Taylor squeezed his hand because she was always there for him. As she smiled, she said, maybe he just meant it in a silly way. Maybe, Travis said, but it made me think. You being my date shouldn't take away from what I do on the field. He was pulled closer by Taylor. No, honey, it doesn't. You're still the cool athlete I fell in love with. He might even write a song about you next, who knows. Travis laughed, and the stress finally went away. He was still Travis Kelsey, even though he was dating a big star, and he wouldn't let anything, not even what his best friend said, change that. After practice, the changing room was full of noise. The talk with Patrick Mahomes about Travis Kelsey dating Taylor Swift got the most attention. With a sly frustration on his face, Kelsey slammed his locker shut. Privilege, huh? Juju Smith-Schuster, Kelsey's partner, looked at him and said something. The Juju smiled. Are you going to let Pat beat you up like that, Kelsey? It sounds like he needs to hear the truth. Kelsey laughed. He's just jealous he can't serenade his girl with a touchdown dance. At that very moment, Kelsey had an idea. He picked up his phone and called someone. The man said, hey Tay, with a big smile on his face. I got a plan to show Pat what real privilege looks like. When practice finished the next day, there was a surprise. With the mic in hand, Kelsey stood on a homemade stage. All right, all right, all right, he yelled, giving off that distinctive Kelsey vibe. 